Hey crafters, it's Darling Craftlet or Raven here for another fantastic Saturday. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Kawaii Yeti pen. I really wanted to put my own spin on the Yeti and I think this came out super adorbs. As you all know I really like to do the bigger head and smaller body and I'm definitely thinking about remaking him a bit differently as a charm and just with as I said a little bit change to the proportions. I didn't quite get the shape of the head and body that I wanted as my clay was super soft. Even though I leached it, I just didn't leach it long enough. So you'll see that I do pre-bake in this tutorial. If you would like to check out this Yeti when I redo it on my Instagram sometime this week, you can follow me and I have a link to my Instagram in the description box below. Enough about that, let's get started. First, you're gonna need your clay. To know the exact colors and all the materials I use, please check the description box below. You're also gonna need your clay tools some bacon bond, a bakeable pen, and optional some pliers, and something like a paintbrush handle to assist in holding the pen. You also need a rolling pin and or a pasta machine. Begin by removing the ink as this cannot go into the oven. Next, roll out your background colors thinly. I prefer to use my pasta machine on the second thinnest setting. Then with your blade, you want to create some straight edges and also trim the clay to the length of the pen. Then go ahead and wrap the clay around the pen, trim away all the excess clay and blend it all together. If you want, you can insert something in the pen just to make it easier to handle, it is up to you. To even up the clay, I also like to roll everything out with a flat hand on a hard surface. Make sure you round off the top of the pen and be sure to pop any air bubbles and smooth things out. Also, if you need to, you can trim the bottom and even things out there too. Now you want a flannel ball of your background color at the top of the pen for the Yeti to sit on and go ahead and blend it in and reshape it as needed. This is what mine looks like. You can set that aside for now and let's work on that Yeti. Begin with a ball of some glitter white clay or the color of your Yeti. Use your ball tool to create an oval space for the face. Tap some bacon bond and secure an oval blue clay into place. Next, create two holes for the eyes and secure balls of clay into the sockets with some bacon bond. Repeat a similar process for the mouth but with a snake of clay. For those little fangs, you want to add two triangles of white clay. Create your eyes hair with some longs of clay and you want to have them chubby in the middle but tapered on both the ends. You can kind of see what I mean by looking at the screen. Add as many as you would like, blend the hair into the head and use your tools to make the fur of the Yeti. I also even use my needle tool. To secure the horns, I'm going to be using some wire and bacon bond. The horns are just cones of yellow clay, trimmed to size and bent slightly at the point. After you get them into place, you want to go ahead and blend them in. Next, I use some spare clay and wire to pre-bake the Yeti, but this is optional. But before you do that, you want to make sure you clean them. And I recommend using some acetone or rubbing alcohol and some cotton swabs. Be sure to use a new swab for each clay color. Then go ahead and pre-bake for 5-7 to seven minutes following your clay package instructions. While your Yeti's cooling, you can go ahead and decorate your pen. I went with some red hearts made with my fingers and my tool. Hard to explain, but you can see on screen. I also added some snowflakes with flattened balls of white clay, and I just detailed them with my needle tool in the shape of a snowflake. That looks like this. I also created some blue diamond snowflakes, I'm gonna call them, with my blade and needle tool. I went with this design because I thought it was winter and magical, but feel free to do whatever you would like. To finish your Yeti, begin by trimming off the excess wire. Add some bacon bond, a ball of clay for blending, and one for the body. After that, go ahead and blend it all together. Repeat the same process that you did for the eyes for the arms and legs. And then I decided to add a heart to the Yeti as well. To touch the Yeti to the top of the pen, I of course use some bacon bond and I use a small ball of purple clay just to add clay to blend. After you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and texturize the rest of the Yeti. Then go ahead and clean everything again. 
When you're done, it's time to bake and you want to do so at 265 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 25 minutes or the temperature and time for your pen and oven. Once it's cool, it's time to paint and add on any embellishments you would like. For the main part of the pen, I paint on a few white swirls and also some white dots. I didn't want to go too crazy as the background is glittery. The base of the pen, I did red, turquoise, and white dots just to kind of pull in all the colors of the pen. To be a little extra, I decided to glue on some rhinestones and I did these in blue and clear in several different sizes. You do you. Mine looks like this. After all is dry, you can glaze. And I recommend a polyurethane or a very thin gloss varnish and a soft acrylic brush. Do at least two to four layers for some extra shine and protection and to bring out all those glitterinesses in all the clay. When your clay is dry, you can reinsert the ink and you're done. This is what my Yeti pen looks like and I'm super proud. I think it's super cute and perfect for winter. Honestly, cannot wait to work on my Yeti design as I said earlier. So please come and hang out with me on the gram so I can show you what my design ends up looking like. Clamus has been so much fun and so challenging for me. I am, am currently sick so I am having a hard time recording voiceovers but I hope you guys are still enjoying the videos. For today's question, I'm very curious to hear if you live somewhere where you do get snow or if you don't, if you've ever seen snow in person. I live in Canada so I've definitely seen a lot of snow. Thank you all so much for joining me for this fantastic Saturday and for Clamus. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. For more crafty goodness be sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell icon for a notification every time I upload. If you would like to follow me on my social media all my accounts are listed on the screen as well as linked in the description box below. Thank you all so much again and I'll see you all soon. Bye!